Hello, Davies parents, guardians, and students. This is Mr. Palmer speaking. Happy New Year. And while this is not the start of a new academic year, it is the start of a new calendar year. It's already January 2021. So I want to use this moment to remind us all about some expectations associated with our remote learning practices this year. We certainly look forward to seeing our students back in school as soon as opportunities permit. In the meantime, we continue to engage in school under remote learning conditions. So I have a few quick points of interest for you that I hope you will remember as we proceed through the coming months. With one trimester behind us, we still find ourselves looking forward to getting as much out of instruction as we can for trimesters two and three. So to start, please remind your child to log into home promptly each day by 7.30 a.m. Attendance is always important, but under the, under the current environment, it's doubly important. Homeroom is an opportunity for us to see your student the first thing in the morning, get a sense of who's with us to, during the course of the day, and also engage over issues not directly connected with the academic part of it, but also engage with them under the social emotional learning aspect of school, which is just as important. Students are also expected to keep their video device on while working under remote learning conditions. This is a key feature of connecting with students while they're away from school. By keeping the camera on, we're able to gauge how students are responding to the instruction that is given by the teacher. It's also just a good way to connect with you on a regular basis so that we can see you. The other part of it is, it's just good etiquette. If you can see the teacher, the teacher should be able to see you. So remember, keep the cameras on and follow according to the, to the instruction that the teacher has for you for her or his particular class. It may vary from course to course depending on what the activities are scheduled for that week. So remember, the teacher knows uh, where she wants to take the instruction, but they want you to follow. And the best way to do that is to know that you're able to follow along by keeping your video active. Another important reminder is that your child should engage in remote instruction while sitting upright and find themselves in a location at home as free as possible from distractions from the television and other devices, which may not be their learning device issued by the school. Students should continue to check in each day after 12 noon for the health, PE, and related arts coursework. This work, work is posted each day by the time your child will finish lunch. And while this is not real-time instruction, it's just as important. It's an opportunity for students to engage at their own pace over activities that have been carefully planned by teachers in those departments. It's very important this year that our students benefit from all of the courses assigned to their schedule. So once again, please remind your students each and every day to check in with their health, related arts, or phys ed teacher for the assignment of the day and turn it in as promptly as possible. This year, we are targeting achievement among all of the students at Davy School in mathematics. Mathematics in particular, that is. We also are looking to undertake programs in English to make sure our students are staying connected and meeting those objectives associated with the New Jersey state assessments. As such, teachers have come up with novel programs to galvanize students around independent practice and participation in math learning and achievement, as well as English learning and achievement. Contact your child's teacher directly about the programs associated with the Math Compact, the Whole School Reading Initiative, as well as the Math Students of the Month. Periodically, you can expect a phone call, email, or home visit from the various staff here at the Davy School. 
This represents an increased initiative on our part to stay connected with our Davie students and, and families so that they know that we are available to them to solve problems and help our students be successful under this period of remote instruction. Guidance counselors, vice principals, as well as myself and the child study team are all here for you. As a good practice, always reach out to your classroom teacher first for anything that you need. And finally, if your child is currently scheduled for fully remote instruction at this time, and you anticipate a need to return to the hybrid schedule at the start of a new trimester, please send me a written request indicating whether or not your child will require transportation associated with their return to school. And we will begin to make accommodations accordingly. Best wishes for a continued and happy new year and a safe learning environment. We look forward to seeing you soon.